Hello guys and this is the Russian genius and in this video I will be showing you how to vanish a card. So for this let's use the Ace of Spades alright. So I am gonna be vanishing the Ace of Spades and to vanish the Ace of Spades then I need one more card and the card that will help me in this case is the Joker but it can be any card but let's use the Joker so right now we have the Ace of Spades which will get vanished by the Joker so let me show you what I mean alright Ace of Spades and the Joker and the Joker is going to vanish the Ace of Spades so look if I just shake the hand just like that as you can see the ace of spades actually vanished from the deck so here is how this is done now there are two ways of doing this and normally people they do it like this so they just you know do this and then they vanish it just like that but I like to do it a little bit different so when I do it here's what I do I have a little setup that you need to prepare and the setup looks something like this so this is the setup that you need to prepare one card face up uh, below the top card quite simple and you can also do it invisibly so you can do it just like that and then you are actually ready and now it's set up just like that once you have the setup then you you know you just go into the deck and pick any card you like let's just use the ace of spades and then you also need one more card of course to be able to vanish the ace of spades so i will be using the two of hearts for this and i place both of them right here at the bottom and then i turn over the deck and the reason for why i do that is because there was a time where i used to do the deck flip and as you can see it works right there but sometimes when you do it then the cards they don't square up at the top maybe you saw that but there was a small flash when I flipped over the deck so that is basically the reason for why I do it like that because then you don't flash uh, the card which is uh, face up now then I turn over the top two cards which in this case is the ace of spades and the two of hearts and in the action of talking and showing the ace of spades then i get a pinky break below the two top cards so if i push it over then i had a pinky break below the face up card and the top card so quite simple just like that boop, boop, and just like that and now you have a pinky break so the two of hearts the card which is not the selection is going on top and then the selected card the ace of spades goes on top and you still have the pinky break below the two top cards and now you have a pinky break below the top four cards so you're going to take all the four cards and your thumb is going to peel down the top card the ace of spades the selection and then all these three cards as you can see they're going to go all the way on top around where the pip is as you can see the ace of spades has a pip which is right here and the other card is close to the pip but not exactly at the pip if you do it right here then it's not as impressive make sure that it's around the center of the center and the bottom if it makes sense here is something that i would also do now i would actually square the deck forward so when you place the two of hearts and the ace of spades or the selection and the random card then the deck will be squared up 
what I do is I push the cards a little bit forward. Now the reason for why I do that is because once you have done the move then the deck gets squared up and this does not happen. Now let's do this once again. So just like that and now I'm ready once again. So if I don't push it forward just like this then here is what is going to happen. Once I finish the move so once I finish the move then this will most likely happen as you can see and if I square it up even more as you can see I am squaring it up even more but still we have this thing which we don't want to have so yes this is a little bit of a long explanation of something that maybe should not be as long but it's just to make sure that you guys don't do the same mistake. So just by pushing it over a little bit. So just like that. Pushed it over a little bit. And now once I finish the move then there will not be any flashes at the bottom. Which happens to a lot of magicians that don't know about this move. And I've never seen anyone do this move so I don't really know. Now here's what's going to happen. Uh, in this position now you're going to take the top two bottom cards of the triple lift. And how you do it is that your thumb is touching the top card and the thumb is actually bending the top card as you can see so the skin of the thumb is pushing the card just like that as you can see and when I'm pushing the card then it bends and the index finger is going to grab everything and in the action of shaking it simply this is going to happen and then they get squared up and once I finish shaking then my index finger is going to get back on top and the reason for that is then it looks like the index finger has never left its place if you do it correctly and now you can cleanly show that it has vanished and now you are in this position so here's what you can do to clean up alright so you're able to say that it vanished and that it's not near the top and just like that you have actually cleaned it up so here is what I did so I can explain it you have this one card left and now you are in this position so you have just vanished the selection and then you can tell the spectator as you can see the selection is actually really vanished from the deck and you know just like that you end clean and what I am doing this is actually quite simple so I'm showing the card and then I am blocking the top card so I'm showing it and they are not seeing the top card and then I you know I pull it forward by having the pinky break with the thumb and now the cards they go down on the deck and then I turn everything over. So I turned four cards over at once. So yes that is the move and let's, um, let's do it once again. So I'm going to try to set up to the move. I'm going to try to set up the deck and just like that let's vanish the ace of diamonds as you can see this beautiful ace is going to be vanished by the king of diamonds and are you ready guys just like that and now the king is actually vanished um, you can also do it like this if you want to so this is a little bit more different and now as you can see all the cards they are back to normal so anyways thank you guys for watching i really hope that you enjoy this 
And as always make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.